I'm back home, Richmond, Virginia. Sitting inside the Bird Theater. I'm happy to be here. Happy that my film is screening here. It's the place where Anthony J. Davis' short film hits the big screen. <laughs> the movie, Yogurt Raisin, is loosely based on these guys, Mike, Steve, Matt, and two others, and their longtime friendship. The brotherhood within the friend group. The friends met at Brooklyn Middle School in Henrico. They were even more inseparable in high school at Hermitage. Sports is yeah. probably like the connector, yeah. but then, yeah, maybe some classes, whatever. But at some point, once we got to high school, we just all hung out together. Now, that 30-plus year brotherhood bond plays out on screen. I just thought it was cool, and I was excited to see how it sort of takes shape. And you always wonder how you come off to other people, you know, so it was sort of that lens was going to be cool. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of based on how we grew up and, and how we you know, hung out and who we are. But I think just to be involved with the process is really just, just cool, because exactly. otherwise I trust whatever he would do from an artist's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt Raisin is a 17-minute short film shot in two days at Anthony's Atlanta area home. How'd you come up with that title? <laughs> kind of symb symbolic to to the film you know it's about a person who is Caucasian on the outside but then he or she acts black uh -huh. in the inside Whoa. okay can we just relax gentlemen the film puts cultural appropriation under the microscope Daryl has never had a problem with how I act I mean most of the time blacker than him some of the themes in the movie maybe aren't relevant to us, but we, have, but we have to stay very aware. You know, I mean, I think back to Brooklyn and like, I, I, don't, even, I don't even think I knew what cultural appropriation meant at the time, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right, right. And so to bring, that, bring light to that now, mm -hmm. I mean, it's great to be a part of that and like mm -hmm. education. And that's the lesson Anthony wants those who see the movie to walk away with. Why do some races um, use um, different things from other cultures. Um, and sometimes it could be, by them doing that, um, imitating, it could be um, offensive. So a teaching lesson on that. Anthony is the executive producer of Yogurt Raisin. His pet projects are a side hustle. His main job, a film accountant working on major movies like the Marvel series. Corporate greed has got to go. Hey, hey. The recent Hollywood writer strike was a reminder of how unpredictable his industry can be. We're hustling and grinding. We're independent contractors. You know, we got to hustle to get to our next project. They have stable jobs. I don't have a stable job. Though the friends may find Anthony's Hollywood life fascinating. This is the only theater? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Wow. But most of all, they appreciate their brotherly bond. Mm -hmm. And still keep that friendship going. How do you explain it just like someone picks up the phone like... On a text? It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> the screening for Anthony's Yogurt Raisin happened at the Bird Theater on Sunday. It's still on the film festival circuit right now. And then the public will get a chance to see it. I'm Reba Hollingsworth, CBS 6 News.